Damn it, man. Damn it. Damn it. You know, today we well, yeah, look at the final score. So once again, the Pelicans are going to be in the play-in. The Pelicans are, they might as well rename the play-in tournament after the New Orleans Pelicans. They might as well call it the Pelicans play-in tournament because every goddamn year we're in the play-in. This was supposed to be a celebratory Sunday for Pelicans fans, for the city of New Orleans, man. Pelicans have just won four straight on the road. Apparently, we play on the road a lot better than we play at home. For some reason, the Smoothie King Center is like our kryptonite. God, too bad we played there, huh? Too bad we played at the Smoothie King Center. Too bad that's our home because we sat there. Four straight wins. We got the struggling Los Angeles Lakers, who ain't really been that much home to write about. It's supposed to be a celebratory Sunday of us beating the Lakers, clinching at number six seed, and then having a week to rest up and hype ourselves up against playing the Timberwolves or the Denver Nuggets. But nope, nope, it's the New Orleans Pelicans, man. It's a playing tournament. We go together like peanut butter and jelly, like Shawn Michaels and WrestleMania. You can't have a playing tournament without the New Orleans Pelicans. Damn, man, I'm tired of it. I'm tired of it, and I'm not like even mad at the team. I'm mad at the team today, but I'm not like mad at the team overall because the season is officially over now. And we have 49 wins. 49 wins is not bad. If you would have told me the Pelicans would have had 49 wins before the start of the season, I would be like, that's pretty good. That might get us a number four or five seed. So I can't be too mad at the team. But goddamn, bro, every time we are faced with a big game when the lights are bright, we come up short. And the Lakers and this man here, LeBron James, he treats us like little kids at the kiddie pool. He always tells us, hey, y'all go play in the kiddie pool. Us drunk folks over here, we go do our thing with the big adult pool. Y'all go eat at the kids' table. We have a Thanksgiving dinner over here with the adults. That's how they treat the Pelicans, man. And any team but the Lakers, man. Any team but the Lakers. Every time we play the Lakers, man, we, get them, we make them look like the 72 win Chicago Bulls. I'm tired of it, man. So now, now we gotta play the Lakers again on Tuesday. And after watching his ass whooping, I have absolutely no reason to believe that we're gonna suddenly figure out how to beat them. It's like this team owns us, man. There you go right there. This is the play you told me. So now we got to play the Los Angeles Lakers. If we lose to the Lakers, then we got to play whoever wins between Sacramento and Golden State. So either way, we got to got one more game or two more games before we can even clinch or talk about a playoff game. Because that's your New Orleans Pelicans for you, bruh. That's the New Orleans Pelicans. They're like, fuck around and find out. Y'all thought we wasn't going to be in the play? Y'all thought we wasn't going to be in the play? Oh my god, it's just frustrating, man. It's frustrating. We had a chance to secure our playoff spot and just use this week to get hyped up, but we can't even do that now. Now we gotta try to find a way to beat the Lakers on Tuesday. And if we beat the Lakers on Tuesday, I'm gonna be hyped. Like, I'm cheering for this team to succeed, man. I want them to be great. I can't want it more than they wanted to. And I know that they want it, but goddamn, every time we have a big game, they sure as hell don't show it like they want it. I mean, I know LeBron James is arguably the best player of all time, in my opinion, the second best player of all time. But come on, B.I., come on, Zion, man. Y'all got to elevate y'all game to another level when we play these dudes, bro. Because you know LeBron's going to bring it. So y'all got to show y'all that that dog in y'all. I was hoping y'all learned y'all lesson in December when the Lakers whooped our ass in a goddamn in-season tournament. But I was like, at the end of the day, it's just a meaningless in-season tournament. Who gives a shit about that? But I was like, maybe it might motivate them to take that step. And maybe it might motivate them to get their legs back today against the Lakers. And we still got our asses whooped again. This one was even worse because this one was for a playoff spot. It was for a playoff spot. And now we got to play the Lakers again. Now they get to stay in the waters for two days, enjoy our good food. They might be going to the French Quarter Fest after this, the Lakers plays in Santa Fe. And I mean, God damn, that annoys me, bruh. <sighs> Pelicans, man, I want y'all to be great. I want y'all to be great. So... I don't know, man. This, this, this shit more than the game lifestyle ain't for the week, y'all. I never said that this shit more than the game lifestyle was for the week. You gotta be hard, strong. You gotta be headstrong, and you gotta be hard, strong to be a part of this shit more than the game, on me. Because good Lord have mercy. And I should have known. I should have seen the writing on the wall. Like, the script never changes. The sports guys always laugh at us and say, we know, we show y'all New Orleans fans what the script is. That's on y'all for always believing. Silly me for believing that the Pelicans were gonna handle their shit today. But nope. So now we got two days of fans arguing, fans talking about Fire, Willie, or uh, CJ McCullum ain't the guy, and all that yabba yabba when we should be celebrating being the number six seed and hyping ourselves up for the playoffs next week. We can only hope, we can only pray that we actually still find a way to make the playoffs. I don't think that we're going to lose two straight. Even if we lose to the Lakers on Tuesday, I would imagine 
God, I mean, I'm just saying myself up again because I just said the sports guys laugh at us. But I imagine the Pelicans are going to beat either the Warriors or the Kings. I hope. I mean, I cannot see the season ending without the playoffs. <laughs> Let me. But I just can't see it. But I really wanted to avoid this playing tournament, and yet here we are again. And it's like, I should have seen it because every time a New Orleans sports team needs help from another team, you know that's not happening. So, like, even if we would have lost today, if the Timberwolves would have beat the Suns, we would have still found our way into the play, uh, playoffs. But, of course, I don't know if you guys are sports buddies, but any time a New Orleans sports team needs help from another team, better against the team that's going against that team because you are not going to get help. A New Orleans sports team never gets help. And apparently every time we play the goddamn Lakers, you might as well put all your money on the Lakers. So Tuesday, maybe I'll do that. Maybe I'll put all my money on the Lakers and worst case, the Pelicans win and I'll be out of the house. But I finally will have watch my Pelicans beat the Lakers. Oh, my goodness. And what's going to be the prize if we beat the Lakers on Tuesday? Well, then we get the Denver Nuggets, which, whatever. Like, if we got to play the Nuggets in round one, I'm sure, obviously, the Nuggets are probably going to whip our ass. But at least we'll get that playoff experience, right? Like, we'll go against the best of the best, and we'll know going into the offseason what we got to do eventually, hoping to get on that level one day. But, God damn it, we even got to get on the actual level of making the playoffs. I am tired. I am tired of being in the play-in every single year. Two years ago, the play-in saved our ass. It was celebratory. We're past that. We're past that. Last year, we came up short in the play-in. This year, the play-in was an enemy to us because if this was like five years ago, being a number seven seed, we would have got our ass whooped by the Lakers. We would have been like, okay, we're just going to pick ourselves up, dust ourselves off. We'll be a number seven seed and do our thing. But no, because the play-in is a day now, we got to do another win to get into the playoffs or at least two wins if we lose Tuesday. I'm just tired of being in the play-in, y'all. That's all this brand is about. I am tired of being in the play-in. Got this damn hat on. Ah! I'm telling y'all, bro, I don't say this shit more than the game itself shirts. Like, that shit means something to me, man. I know it means something to all the New Orleans sports fans, so I'm tired. I'm tired of always getting our hearts let down. Now, maybe on Tuesday we celebrate. Maybe on Tuesday we get a great win and, you know, it, it propels us to a great playoff run. I still got some love for this team. Again, 49 wins. I can't be mad at that. But what I am mad at disappointing is that every time we have a big game with the lights are bright, we look like we want absolutely no parts of it. And we cannot have that attitude on Tuesday. We got to show up on Tuesday. We got to win one of these next two games. Hopefully just one game. But we got to win one of these next two games. We got to make the goddamn playoffs, man. The city of New Orleans is so tweaking. They be ready for, to catch Pelican Sweeper, man. The past few days, it was amazing, man. Shout out to Antonio Daniels. He gave me a shout out after the Pelicans beat the Warriors on Friday. He said, this shit more than a game. He said it's the PG-13 way, but he said, this shit more than a game. The fans were hype, man. They ready. The Pelicans always have a gold mine of opportunity to grab the city's attention, especially with the Saints struggling. And it seems that they always come up short. Do not come up short this upcoming week, Pelicans. Have no business in this goddamn playing tournament. And let's make the goddamn playoffs. Please. I'm begging. Damn, I thought the Rams would be over for this year. I thought for the Saints season I had about six to seven months to chill, but the Pelicans got me like this. Just win Tuesday, Pelicans. Just win Tuesday. And I guess now, this upcoming Tuesday, you are true to the John O'Barnes channel and not new to the John O'Barnes channel. You know we usually go live every Tuesday, so I guess we're going to turn this upcoming Tuesday into a live watch along for the New Orleans Pelicans versus Los Angeles Lakers. And you guys can either watch me in real time, have my heart crushed again, or you can watch me have one hell of a victory party. But join us on the John O'Bone Show this Tuesday, and you can watch us watch the Pelicans versus the Lakers, part five. And we'll see if the Pelicans actually finally grow a set and tell the Lakers we're tired of you guys treating us like little kids. Well, the kid is a grown man now, and we finally punched them back in the mouth. I also got some exciting news coming up about uh, special guests we have, so stay tuned for that. And let me know in the comments, you guys, how do you feel about the New Orleans Pelicans right now? I know we're all the emotional. We're probably going to be emotional for the rest of the day. Maybe when we wake up tomorrow, we'll have a little bit more uh, time to process everything, and we can be a little more excited about, okay, you know what? True New Orleans fashion. Sometimes you got to get your ass knocked down and get up. We'll get back up and say we're going to get the Lakers on Tuesday. But how do you guys feel, especially after that loss? to the Lakers today about the Pelicans' chances in the play-in tournament. Let me know. Let me know. And join me this Tuesday as we have a live watch-along to the Pelicans versus Los Angeles Lakers play-in tournament. And then stay tuned for a big announcement about who is the next guest 
He's got some true this year more than the game energy, and it has to do with the New Orleans Pelicans as well. So hopefully it all works out on the John O'Brien show. And if you're new to the channel, do not be afraid to hit that subscribe button. If you're not new to the channel, also hit the like button. Or not. I'm just a human being with this damn Pelican hat on while the Los Angeles Lakers fans make fun of me. But I'm not the law. See you guys next time. And as always, no matter what, win or lose, and it's usually losing. This shit more than a game. Just win Tuesday, Pelicans. Just win Tuesday. <laughs>